scrapings on them. And there's been a few accidents. And even when I was growing up, I had a, a friend of mine, his family got killed by a train. And that problem still hasn't gone away. Trains collided with cars more than 100 times last year in Illinois, killing 25 people. But the Illinois Commerce Commission has plans to make railroad crossings safer throughout the state, possibly saving lives and making travel easier on drivers. WCI 3's Raquel Martin has the story. Like it or not, but this noise probably is an unavoidable part of your daily commute. And while that won't be changing anytime soon, the Illinois Commerce Commission hopes to make your next run-in with a track much safer. We have a responsibility to improve public safety at these public crossings, to, to try to identify where potential problems may occur and, and leave it, eliminate those problems if we can. For decades, the ICC has poured millions of dollars into railroad infrastructure. Michael Stead says the latest five-year improvement plan includes suggestions for more than 1,200 sites throughout the state. Construction ranges from new automatic flashing light signals or crossing gates to entire bridges. The safest crossing, quite honestly, is one that doesn't exist. So if we can eliminate crossings along the way, that's... In our opinion, that's a, that's a, a great safety benefit. And construction on this brand new underpass just finished up this summer, and people say it's already making a huge difference in their daily commute. This underpass that's close to the hospital has increased access for ambulances and for patients who are riding here. And while cities like Springfield can cough up the change on a new bridge, smaller communities struggle just for the basics. Around Effingham, we have several that don't even have you know lights or anything on them. They're just kind of there. And the ICC takes care of the majority of the cost for these projects. However, some money comes from local taxpayer dollars. Think about the bottom line, you know, it's going to cost this much more maybe on taxes or something, but it's going to save somebody's life. In Springfield, Raquel Martin, WCIA 3, your local news leader. The ICC gets roughly $40 million a year in gas tax money for these projects and in some areas pays for almost all of the repairs. Now here's a look at the active projects in Champaign County. It includes a $74,000 project on Curtis Road in Savoy and an almost million dollar bridge on Olympian Drive in Champaign. Well,